everybody. Um, I wanted to go over these two pieces that I've made. Uh, this one I made on last week's film, and then I just made a revised version I'll go over with you. Um, overall, it's going okay. I still don't have a sellable part yet, but I'm working on it. And no more crashes. That fixed the machine, so that's good. I got the mill running in the background. You can probably hear it. And I'm cutting more parts right now. Um, what I've done is I've made a fixture plate. And the old design had screws that went through to bolt it down. I have changed that to tap holes in the back. Um, and that I think just looks cleaner. I'll, sh I'll show a close up of these in a second. But it also allows me to bolt them on my fixture plate, cut four at a time. And I can come down and cut the whole uh, length of it at once. Uh, this is one I did just the back side, so that's what it would look like. It was on there, bolts go in the back, and uh, ready to ready to cut. Let me show you these. Okay, so I've got my close-up lens on here right now. Uh, that's the engraving on, uh, this is the first one with the screw holes. Uh, let me go over a couple of things that I've changed on this one. This lead in, lead out, you can probably see is a pretty big gouge in it. And a shout out to um, NYC CNC, John Sanders, for his video on lead in, lead out in Fusion. That helped me quite a bit. Um, this one, of course it doesn't lead in, lead out there, but it doesn't have anything. I'm actually leading in, leading out right there, you can see, but I'm doing the overlap and I change the angles. It, it's very, very minute um, compared to this one. And let's see, what else did I change? Um, this did pretty good. It left a, this is completely off the machine. I have not touched it one bit. Uh, so you guys can see all the flaws in it and what I'm gonna change. It left a little piece right there. I don't know why. Did not do it on that side. Uh, that, I increased the step over and it's just smooth as glass still. I got a little lip. I, the surface finish did not come out good. I, I thought that was a new tool, but I think it was an old one because uh, it's, it's ugly. Uh, and then I got a little lip there from flipping the part, which is why I created the fixture. So I don't have to flip the part. So there will not be any lip, as I'll show you on this next one, because it contours from this side all the way around. No chance of a lip. Um, that is scallopy. Of course, I'm using the scallop feature. So I'm gonna have to play with some tool paths on that. Uh, yeah. So you can see I got this recess cut out for the screw head. Um, let's see. This is the one I just did. So I rounded the top over more because I don't have to clamp with the. Oh, that was the other thing here. Uh, you can see where the clamp happened. Uh, where the clamp, the vise, had bit into it and left a mark. So now with this fixture, I can I can leave this nice and rounded, and I don't have to um, do that. Uh, it's going to be a through bolt design. So we form tap these. I did uh, some video of it. Actually, I don't know if I did a video of the tapping or not, but. Um, so on this one, I did not quite go down far enough. There's a little lip there. So I'm gonna go down a little farther. And then this is just sharp as a razor right there. Uh, and then here, so I'm doing a chamfer 
on the new ones. Here. This is the one that's half done. Uh, so we got a, just basically a little edge break, and I did a little countersink in the holes too, so that it, when it pulls, the form tap pulls those threads up, it doesn't pull them above the surface. Um, but the reason this one's no good is, for one, I have this gouge here, pretty deep. I don't know why. And even though I put don't touch surface, stay off two thousandths, uh, when I did my contour around that with the quarter inch ball mill, it touched that surface. Same in there, it touched that surface. So, I, that, I, yeah, that, that's what made the part unsellable. I also changed the font, made it bigger, uh, with the engraving. And so, now we gotta hop over into, let me pull my macro lens off there to see it, the whole thing. Um, be a good shot. This, this new tool did much better with the surface finish, as you can see. It's just, like I said, it's right off the mill. This is, I have not touched it. Gorgeous, it's just gorgeous. I'm so happy with the way this is turning out. Um, so, let's hop over to Fusion and see if we can fix this stuff. I just broke a form tap. Cut it off in there. That cool. Oh, this is not going well. Okay, so let's try this again. This time I am using uh, okay. uh, tapping oil instead of Come on, baby. Let's get smoking. I'm running 500 RPM. Maybe I need to slow this down a little bit. Ooh, I 
Okay.